HC3's Party for the Planet comes paired with its very own beer. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, Arapaho Basin shocked the local ski industry this September when COO Alan Hensroth said he wanted fewer skiers. It really didn't have anything to do with either Vail or Icon. This is about a basin. That was Hensroth at the COO breakfast when he left the Epic Pass for the Icon Pass. And today, he released a State of the Basin report with midwinter skier data showing visits through January were down 39% compared to last season. That's the first decline in years. And a basin pass holder Julie is loving the change drove up on Monday was I don't know the 20th car in the lot at 9 a.m. and said this is what skiing's about just park and ski. Hence Roth is loving it too. He writes the numbers speak for themselves. The experience is way up. The skier days are way down. And then came February. Total visits through February are down 20% year over year, but big snow brought a spike in skiers. Hence Roth admits Saturdays are still a headache and parking continues to anger pass holders. A listener on the Crystal 93 Facebook page writes, they've had to use overfill parking every Saturday with the exception of one. Hence Roth claims Sundays are better with just one day of overflow parking in February, but not everyone agrees. A commenter on the A Basin blog writes, arrived at 8.45 a.m. Sunday expecting the new, less crowded A Basin, and then he claims he did not reach the lift until 10. But most commenters applauded the Basin, echoing thoughts from another Crystal listener who writes, I think it's been a lot better this year. Not perfect, but manageable. High Country Conservation Center throws the annual Party for the Planet this Friday in Breck, and they've got something new on tap. We'll also be with the brewers there launching a new collaboration beer called Green Machine. That's a mango pineapple milkshake IPA, and so that will be released at the event. That was Lisa Hankey with HC3, who assures us, no, the beer is not green. The nonprofit partnered with Highside and other local breweries to create that craft pour. And if you miss the party, you can still support the cause. Everyone can actually try the beer in the breweries after the event as well, with a dollar of the proceeds from each beer sold will support HD3. Party for the Planet also comes with wine tasting, live music, and a silent auction, and all proceeds go to HC3's conservation programs. Last year, the event raised $60,000. Get tickets now through highcountryconservation.org. Wireless cell towers and fees for a new urgent care center are on the town council agenda in Dillon tonight. Council votes to extend an emergency ordinance, which stops Verizon and all wireless companies from installing cell towers in the town core. Verizon asked the town for permission in January, and council voted to halt permits through today to review town code. This newest ordinance extends the restriction through May. Council also considers waiving an impact fee for Anemone Urgent Care, a new medical facility next door to Dillon Dam Brewery. Town Policy charges $2 per square foot for all new commercial properties. The urgent care owner argues he should not have to pay, citing community benefit from on-site employee housing. Tonight's meeting is 7 p.m. at Town Hall. In sports, the Nuggets play the Warriors tonight at 7. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. Summit High School closed the winter sports season last week with state ski championships, and three Tigers were named to the All-State Alpine Ski Team. Congrats to Olivia Snyder, Camille Thompson, and Michael Cheek for making the squad. Spring sports season gets started this weekend with boys lacrosse scrimmages in Grand Junction. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.